Hello friends, here we are uh, about to enter Lent once again and as usual Lent draws our attention to the whole campaign by development and peace uh, the share Lent collection on the fifth Sunday of Lent but also the whole effort of education uh, towards that uh, desire to be in solidarity and to support that solidarity. So, uh, Jason, can you tell us more about what the ShareLand campaign is about this year and um, and how it will flow forth? Mm -hmm, for sure. So, Lent is one of my favorite liturgical seasons because it's a time for us to really center ourselves with our brothers and sisters in Christ, um, to be able to pray with one another, to be with one another, mm -hmm. but overall to become closer to God. Mm -hmm. um, and during Lent, we have many beautiful practices as to how we become closer to our faith, become closer to God, um, especially through prayer, uh, through fasting, and through almsgiving. Mm -hmm. So this year's uh, Share Lent campaign uh, embodies many of those different practices mm -hmm. um, for us to become closer to God. And this year's uh, Share Lent campaign is the same um, as uh, what we started off with for the Fall Action campaign. Usually there was two different names, but this year we'll be continuing on with our campaign called people and planet first. Mm. So for this campaign, we'll be talking more about ecological conversion, mm -hmm. how our impacts have a role or have a certain influence on those living in the global south. And what can we do in our own uh, local communities within ourselves in a mm -hmm. way that's both prayerful and meaningful and impactful to the communities. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be continuing to support the work uh, that is taking place in the Honduras uh, with Caritas Chaluteca and Sepradec by providing um, land titles and legislation for indigenous communities that unfortunately um, are being um, taken over by many uh, enterprises, mining companies, etc. Mm -hmm. So these indigenous communities, by having these legislation and these rights, are able to then defend their land. Mm -hmm. So again, the importance of Catholic social teaching and the dignity of the human person. Mm -hmm. We'll also be continuing uh, to support the work of DPA, so Development and Partnership in Action in Cambodia where for this campaign we'll be focusing on the resilience of the communities. So the partners in DPA are working very closely with indigenous, indigenous communities in Cambodia okay. uh, to ensure that they provide uh, resources for, um, for fishing communities um, to be able to provide formation for those communities and to be able to provide um, adequate and sustainable ways of fishing within um, their communities and within the, the, the rivers from which they will um, take the fish from and mm -hmm. use for their communities. This year we're adding another partner which we will okay. be highlighting and it is with CDA. So it's with the Conseil de Développement uh, Dado Hatapaneka um, and Madagascar, again a beautiful country, um, is actually a country that is very prone to a lot of poverty but also mm -hmm. to a lot of climate change. Despite all these obstacles, the uh, Madagascan community is working very closely together with CDA to put in place 51 micro-projects in which the Madagascan community has put together for themselves um, by the Madagascan community for the Madagascan community. One of those projects in particular is a community garden mm -hmm. um, in which we see that there will be formation for community members uh, to take care of the land um, so again, the principle of community participation, mm -hmm. where men and women are also involved mm -hmm. um, within the communities. So we can see that these community gardens are truly an example of an ecological conversion that we can bring here in the north. Mm -hmm. And um, so exactly that point, um, I mean, our common world, our common earth, mm -hmm. common home. Um, so how can parishioners here um, become more involved with the ShareLand campaign mm -hmm. um, and how would their support um, by becoming more informed uh, by all the ways including the financial uh, contributions uh, how could that have an uh, impact on our neighbors in the south 
let's say, these particular projects. Mm -hmm. So for Development and Peace, we have three main pillars of action. So the mm -hmm. first is education. Um, so if you visit the Development and Peace website, which we will show you at the end uh, of the video, you'll find many wonderful resources, um, including this mini magazine uh, that describes a little bit more about the campaign um, for every Sunday of Lent, the different themes that will be shared, etc., to learn more about the partners and what they're doing. Uh, so I encourage you to either go to your local parish and to find uh, uh, the paper copy, or you can also find the copy online. There will be many resources that will be available um, on, the, on the website for mm -hmm. development and peace. Um, prayers, reflections, mm -hmm. um, Stations of the Cross will also be made available, mm -hmm. in which themes from this, year cam this year's campaign will also be related to the pain and suffering of Christ, mm -hmm. and what that means for us in our faith right. to journey with our brothers and sisters in suffering. Um, the second uh, aspect of development and peace and what we do is with advocacy. So again, we're encouraging parishioners to continue signing um, the due diligence law uh, in which um, this law, when it will be presented to members of parliament, will hold Canadian enterprises on a national level and international level mm -hmm. accountable for uh, their actions in which they are um, taking from the environment um, and also infringing on the, on the rights of, of, of the people. Mm -hmm. um, so this due diligence law will very much hold these organizations, these companies accountable to find more sustainable methods um, within their chain of production. Mm -hmm. Lastly, um, Development and Peace also encourages members to give alms. Right. Um, so we are encouraging members to give a donation to Development and Peace. Mm -hmm. And this work will continue um, to, con to, to go on um, thanks to the funds that are also given um, from Development and Peace. Mm -hmm. So to continue the support of the partners and the work, the amazing work that they do. Mm -hmm. um, I also wanted to share that um, any donations um, that are sent, um, if you become a monthly donor, so again, any amount that you give monthly is, is wonderful and, and very much appreciated, um, will then be matched um, dollar by do dollar for dollar. So any funds that are given um, between um, Lent, um, so from Ash Wednesday all the way to Pentecost, so from mm -hmm. March the 2nd to June the 5th, if you become a monthly donor, those funds will then be matched. Um, and therefore, there will be more funds to continue to help support mm -hmm. the work of the partners. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like, once again, development and peace. Um, the team has really provided some really good resources. Um, the things you were talking about in the little booklet, I can see, uh, you know, a pastor and their parish council uh, for the preparation of liturgies mm -hmm. to really take that to heart and, and yeah, let that be part of the prayer of the faithful, the, mm -hmm. our prayer throughout Lent, um, as we we know more and wish to be, um, yeah, in solidarity, in there with them, um, as together we uh, work towards a world that is uh, sustainable and providing for all, mm -hmm. uh, according to the dignity we all have before God. So. No, sounds like a good, a good go again. Thank you thank so you. much, Your Grace, and yes. thank you for the support of the Archdiocese uh, with development and peace as well. Oh, you're welcome.